Hey everyone, I'm Leslie with CZ Grain and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about some planting techniques for your seeds that you have either received or you're going to order. Uh, there's a few things that we're going to touch as far as planting the seeds, whether they need stratification, scarification. Um, go ahead and research the specific seed that you got because they all take different different suggestions and different planting instructions. So first I'm going to talk about um, cold stratification. Uh, there's a couple of our seeds such as the Japanese red maple or the Japanese cherry blossom that do require this and cold stratification is just a process that mimics nature's natural cold cycle. So here I have set up a little bit what you're going to do. I have a wet paper towel and all I've done here is I put the seeds in here. So these are my Japanese cherry blossom and the Japanese red maple here. I put them in the cold or in the wet paper towel, get them soaking in there. And now I would just take this and put this in a plastic baggie and put it in the fridge. Um, again, with your research on it, it can take anywhere from two weeks to 60 days. Um, and you can just check on them too. If you see them start germinating, they're ready to plant. So that was our process of stratification. Another um, process that sometimes is necessary with certain seeds would be scarification. And that's just where you're gonna um, weaken or open the coat of the seed. A lot of these seeds have a really hard shell on them. Uh, this is a climbing jade vine seed and you can tell it's very, very hard. Uh, another one that we sell that would, that would benefit from this process would be the uh, Chinese wisteria seed. And that comes in our, in our seed bundle. Uh, and all you wanna do with this is you can file it or sand it. Um, you can use a knife and mark it up. Uh, there's also, there's a bunch of other processes. Again, you can research. I know you can um, freeze them and boil them, anything to soften that coat so they germinate easier. Uh, this one I did sand. You can see where it's exposing the inner part of the seed. And that will just give you more success with germination of the seed. So now I'll go ahead and just plant one. I'll kind of show you um, a general planting here. I'll do this one that I've already scarified because this one doesn't require any cold stratification. All I'm going to do is just take a little layer of the soil back. I'm going to place the seed in there just like it would fall from the tree and just put a light covering over your seed. Now we like to use um, an organic soil. You're going to have the best, the best luck with, you know, something like that. We, uh, you know, you can look at CZ grain. We sell a nice organic soil. It's great for this. It's also good for, um, we sell bonsai trees and they're great. It's great soil for that, for them to take off in. It's perfect for them too. And then you definitely want to keep the soil wet, moist. Definitely at least those first 30 days, make sure it is very wet so it's germinating well. I have, I like to have a drip tray. It's nice to have holes in the bottom of your, of your um, pan so they can, or your pot so the water can, if it's over watered, it, they can, it gives it a chance to dry a little bit and, and the soil doesn't get um, stinky. Anyway, thanks for buying from CZ Green. Um, we hope you enjoy your purchase, you enjoy your trees uh, or your plants. We sell multiple things. You can look at us, uh, look us up on Amazon or Etsy at CZ Green. And we appreciate your business. Thank you.